Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Matz. Welcome to today's Living Word. I want to apologize for being a little bit late this week, but my computer was acting up, wouldn't you know it? And today I'd like to talk about the halftime show at the Super Bowl, and I'll keep it short. Honestly, I mean, I felt like I had a ringside seat at a Canaanite worship service. The frantic dancing reminded me a bit of the, the prophets of Baal and their standoff with the Elijah. And my text today comes from 2 Peter chapter 2, beginning at verse 6. We read, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condem condemned them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterward would live ungodly, and delivered righteous Lot, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. That's 2 Peter 2, 6 through 8. Did anyone else feel a bit like Lot while viewing the Super Bowl halftime show? You know, I'll say this, on one hand, the choreography, it was amazing. But on the other hand, the gyrations were overtly sexual. A viewer couldn't miss what was attempting to be portrayed. And let's face it, like Lot, we are living in a culture obsessed with sex. This culture is really no different than living in Canaan or the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Lot. And here's the thing that most people miss. A sex-obsessed culture always results in dead babies. I'll say that again. A sex-obsessed culture always results in dead babies. Just read the Old Testament and see where cultural obsession with sex always led to dead babies, child sacrifice. And dead babies always lead to a devaluing of human life and all the other associated problems that come with that mindset. Welcome to America 2023. Pray, people. Pray for the mercy of God upon our children and upon our land. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.